Hello everyone, we're gonna talk about egg. So, we, what egg is the best one to open to get the mythical pet, right? Of course, with there are no eggs you're gonna get the mythical in, but after fusing, you're gonna end to the mythical regardless which egg you are using, right? And we know that it's smart to use lower tier eggs for getting shiny pets, but is it smart to use low tier eggs or high tier eggs for getting mythical pets? That's what I'm gonna show you. I have done a small study on this and I'm gonna show you some calculation on how this is. Addition to that, what we're also gonna see here is there this cheaper egg is gonna make the egg a little bit cheaper as well. And you also have behind here one that's called even cheaper eggs. And also this is something that we have to think about in the calculation. Another thing that's also have to do something with the egg calculation is of course the egg lock. That will also change the whole thing, but I haven't taken the egg lock into the calculation because that will make the calculation too advanced to talk about. Okay, so well, let's go over to um, a schematic I have to show you. Then we are looking on the schematic. Uh, as you can see on the top here, I have been putting down all the egg cost. The egg cost for common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary or and prodigious uh, eggs. For basic, that will say the starter. If you have the cheaper eggs update, it is, will be these prices. And if you have the even cheaper upgrade, it will be the, these prices that is standing here. So you see there is a, a pattern in how much cheaper they are getting. So if there's gonna come something in the future, we most likely know what that's gonna be. And then it, I have done a calculation on how much will the cost if you open, like let's say if you're on basic, if you only open common eggs, then this is the cost that it will, will cost for, uh, for getting one mythical. So, so of course you will not just get one mythical by opening this one, but this is the average cost that it will cost for that. And this is the cost for every one of them, uh, for co uh, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, prodi prodigious, and ascended. Oh, ascended we don't have, of course. <laughs> but uh, also here, if we have cheaper eggs, so they have the cost there, and even cheaper eggs. But it's not easy to read these numbers. So I try to put this out from, from percentage. The most expensive way of getting a one mythical pet is the basic common egg. And that is probably no surprise. So that is 100%. And then you can see uh, when, when you attack uncommon, you save uh, a little bit here, and you rare, you're also saving even more. And when you say get to epic, you're even saving more, and so on. And if you open the uh, prodigious, prodigious egg towards the common egg, it's actually the half the cost. So it's quite important, where if you are only out of the mythical pets, it's important to use the best egg that you can get into. So it's also important to get those 100 shiny to get into the grotto, uh, grotto and, and, and uh, so that you can use this egg here, because it's way better price on this uh, than it has on the legendary. And you can see that easily up here as well, right? So it's, it's much more uh, better uh, cost on it and so on. So uh, in the other way as well, um, if you have uh, the re rebirth, you will normally start with this one. You see the common egg becomes 30% uh, cheaper and then you are down to like <laughs> even lower price, right? And, and if you have in the end of the game, you will be down to one third of the price of the basic when you are doing mythical. So it's very clearly it is the best egg, it's a prodigious uh, egg to open to get the mythical pet. So have this in mind when you are also hunting for shiny pets. Uh, because um, if you take for instance only open uncommon eggs for shi shiny pets, see the price this has, okay? for that one. So it's better to open rare pets to try to get shiny pets. But in the end you will try to get common and so on. But also think about that. For every time you uh, rebirth, then you can open 500 common, 500 uncommon and 500 rare. That you can do every time you rebirth. 
uh, and so on. And the epic ones, a legend one, and prodigious one, is the ones that's going to be the most difficult to get the shiny in. So late in late game, it's of course going to be easier to get shiny pets, uh, shiny pets for these three here. But in the beginning, the either for the common, uncommon, and rare is the best one here. So basically, that's everything I wanted to say. This is the calculations. Uh, for this and again I have to say the egg, egg luck uh, will also uh, count into this one as you can get like one better um, ra ra rarity on the pets when you're hatching so that will make the cost saving even more than you can have on the maximum here so well I don't know if, if this is helping you or not but uh, at least for me I, I like to think about things like this and yeah, one of the best thing I I, I I think I missed. I think I missed. One of the best thing I like is this sound here. I love I love getting in gold, trying to to get faster and faster up the the score uh, and so on. And I just have to say, the more I play this game, the more I love this game. This is a really really fun game, and it is challenging as well because you after it's it's really hard the first first time you you play it. But um, when you have done the first the first uh, rebirth, the games become so much more fun when you can do the the sign of the, your own rebirth and take the, the way that you want to take the game. Well, this was number one game of the hand of Hypertrophy. Like and subscribe. I hope to see you again. Thank you and bye bye.